Hey Summers and welcome back to another episode of Ken and as you can see here we are in front of the place where we're going to be getting a horse. So I mentioned in the last episode that uh, Eli was probably going to head out while Ailey is at school and we're going to look to see what kind of horses were available for us to get here. So I thought about just straight up purchasing a horse but our friends really aren't all that great <laughs> plus i know we still have to eventually fix our stove after that fire so let's actually take a look at the rescue horses because they're only uh 250 and oh my god suck a tash <laughs> so we have howdy here licorice lucky suck a tash sugar bush and turtle so we have looks like two foals two mares and two stallions i thought about getting a foal so you got defiant aggressive and needy i feel like my playthrough of horse ranch i had a horse like this with these exact traits i believe but and we have sugar bush here which is actually like a really really cute horse a galaneer's cob so they're intelligent, aggressive, and fearful. I think I did experience the fearful trait. I don't think I experienced the intelligent trait. Do they all have aggressive? No. So it looks like aggressive and defiant are pretty much um, those like specific traits that you're going to get with rec rescue horses. I don't know about mellow trait or the independent trait but that's an elder horse howdy is an elder horse and then we have two adult horses two elder horses actually i let's actually see what they have for uh, under the purchase horses too mozart with a hat <laughs> 49er looks just like sugar bush cha-cha I actually really think um, I might actually get Sugar Bush. It's a cute horse. So let's go ahead and get this horse here. And maybe later down the line, we'll actually uh, go the other route by purchasing a horse. I think it'll be really cute to start out with a foal. So then Ailey can kind of like, you know, develop that relationship with the horse and grow it with the horse and everything is I do have uh aging on <laughs> so eventually you know Ailey will become a teen in uh the winter time so this should be or hopefully might be like a good amount of time to have the foal and then I'll grow up into an adult horse and everything like that so here is Sugar Bush. Should we keep the name as Sugar Bush? I don't think I'm going to give it a last name. We're just gonna if delete. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> if you guys like the name Sugar Bush, we'll keep it. Or if you have other name suggestions, leave it in the comment below. But we'll go ahead and keep this name for now. Did it come out with a last name? Okay, no, it didn't. <laughs> Gosh game lagging again all right here's sugar bush oh my goodness you are adorable oh okay <laughs> all right well how about we how's it going uh let's try to give you a gentle touch you got some big eyes my goodness you are cute so we are going to have to also buy some additional things i know we have the horse bed already and the feeder i don't remember if the lot had uh the water trail but we'll see about that but let's try to do a couple more things here let's talk to you you're so cute Look at you. <laughs> Look at those eyes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I do have a um a uh 
the an override for the uh, eyes for horses <laughs> so but you're super cute let's tell you a joke let's just try to get a good relationship with the horse i mean it's already like halfway there okay let's actually talk to sienna too let's give her a howdy introduction she is the horse trainer and i don't all the way remember what that entails oh wait there it is option requires an available horse in someone's household i mean we do but i guess <laughs> we do have one but i guess uh the horse needs to be an adult horse or elder in order for us to actually get some horse training from sienna here you're married to Christopher Revoco. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. What? Oh, tell a gross joke. What? Already? <laughs> he perceives her as attractive, though. Oh my gosh. If if you guys are familiar with Christopher here, he's from the Werewolves Pack. So that is very interesting and if they end up having kids i'm just like <laughs> i'm wondering how that will uh how that will go so ellie's actually done with school so she's doing satisfactory work for her teachers at elementary school they think she could easily improve with just a little bit of extra effort uh we also did us get a pop-up that uh, roberto was actually in town and i meant to go see what he has going on but it seemed like we were able to sell nectar to him so even if we start making our own nectar and getting it aged and everything like we might actually just wait it out i just don't like you oh my gosh from interacting with anti-crush wait a minute <laughs> wait <laughs> Oh, oh my god, Eli is just like at first sight of thing because Eli really doesn't like Sienna's overall vibe. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, well, <laughs> it was nice to meet you, Sienna, but we're going to go home. All right, so here we are back at home. Ellie already over here watching TV. I'm actually going to go ahead and tell her to get some leftovers because she is starving. We still have two servings of some tomato soup left, but we do have our horse here. We're here listening to Sugar Bush. <laughs> You're so cute. So after Ellie eats, we actually will have her come out here and um, greet Sugar Bush. And then she'll probably be like, so surprised. <laughs> I just want you know, Ailey to branch out a little bit more, and I think it will be actually really nice for her to kind of have a little little friend here on the ranch at first. Maybe give her a little bit more comfort and confidence. Let's come out here oh, <laughs> and let's talk to Sugar Bush. And I'll have uh, Eli go use the bathroom real quick. And it does look like we have everything except for the ball. So we got our feeding trial, the horse bed, which we will assign this bed to Sugar Bush. And then we have the water uh, trail over here as well. So we have generally everything that we need. But I will um, actually get, get the horse a little play ball here. I don't remember how much it is, but let me actually see. <laughs> All right, so where should we put this maybe like out over here so there's like some room like in the shade a little bit and then we'll definitely change the swatch here because I actually really like these swatches um yeah I don't think it has to be like super clean <laughs> but let's see baseball maybe a soccer ball this is the only one that has like a, a dirty swatch on it, which is kind of interesting. So we'll probably put that out. So now we pretty much have everything for the horse. 
I don't think there's any, I don't even put any prairie grass plots around here. I definitely didn't, <laughs> but that's okay. No, oh, okay, wait, come back. Let's actually try to give you a gentle touch. Eli, you're done using the bathroom, so you can definitely eat the last bowl of tomato soup. You know what I haven't actually even done before yet? Is take pictures of the horses. <laughs> so let me actually see because from what I've seen from other playthroughs, they actually have some really cute poses. Oh my goodness. Look at you. So first horse. A little sugar bush here. <laughs> How else can you pose? Oh my gosh. Look at that little smile. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, them teeth though. <laughs> Let's take one of this too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man. <laughs> Let's also see if we can cradle you if you will allow us to. Oh, okay, negatives. <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, just let Sugar Bush kind of roam around a little bit, and Ailey will go ahead and take a bath. Eli, you still eating? <laughs> Dad's making something, and then we definitely have to take care of our little farm back here. So our, our produce definitely is growing like crazy. So but I guess this isn't done yet. Let's go ahead and harvest all. Oh. oh. Well, not you still being in the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's go out here. We also... Uh, yeah, we'll put some more feed out for the chickens, too. Did we have eggs yet? Oh, we do have eggs. Okay. Awesome. We're getting a lot of produce here. I kind of want to, uh, you know, stock their fridge a little bit before I start selling things. Plus, I kind of rather sell stuff when it is of better quality. Oh, hey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> also, I wonder how chickens will react with horses, because that's definitely something I haven't seen yet. Neither. I've only seen many goats and many sheep interact with the horses. Mm, okay, you don't like us. <laughs> uh, scatter feet nearby. And I don't think this is dirty just yet. We have two eggs, so let's go ahead and collect the eggs. I wonder if one of them was hatchable. All right, so we have two unhatchable eggs, so that's fine. Let's talk to the chickens a little bit more. Are you laying down now? Cute. Are your hunger was low? We do need to train to eat you, but we also oh, not train to eat you. My goodness, we also need to train you to eat hay. <laughs> um, and bottle feed you when we get a chance. Oh, what is going on? What is... What is that? What is that? Is that your jaw? Oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know what that's about. We might... Um, when she goes to school tomorrow, we, we might also get her to start, you know, meeting some... Ch child sims let's get her to clean up here so she can start making some friends as well he keeps sleeping outside like we have a whole couch inside <laughs> i mean he's only here for like one more day because i was going to go ahead and just get a sleeping bag but it's a little too late for that <laughs> plus he has a uh, key to the residence so he most likely will be coming over here. What are you scared about? 
Ooh. Is it the coyotes? <laughs> and I don't have uh, control, a pet mod or whatever it's called. I might actually get it because I do think they have it updated to where you can control horses too. So I might think about getting that so I can actually see what is going on with my horse. <laughs> Sugarbush is just running around trying to get a little bit of fun maybe is that even helping your fun oh yeah it is unless you're just running around because you're scared but i'm not sure <laughs> oh should we give you a little blanket you know what yeah let's plan your outfit get you a little blanket all right let's see what we have here do i want the quilted one or i still like this one with the patterns I kind of like the quilted one. Does this look weird for right now? You know, winter's coming up and everything. This color looks nice on you too. And a nice little blue. I don't know, I'm so indecisive sometimes. <laughs> oh, like a terracotta. It matches your eyes. Yeah, let's go with that. What? I know Sugarbush ain't coming in his house though. What? Oh, oh. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sugarbush, get out. <laughs> uh, go ahead, go to school, Ellie. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You cannot be in here like this. Uh-uh. <laughs> Guess what I was get for having a floor plan like this. Sugarbush, go go somewhere, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's actually go out here and train you to eat uh, some hay so we don't Oh my god, you did not poop inside kind of inside outside. <laughs> Sugar bush, dude, come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Can we call you over or something? <laughs> call over. Come here. <laughs> Get out of the house. I'm gonna have to lock the doors. Oh my gosh. How can I even get you out of here? Can I reset you? <laughs> Are you even supposed to be in here? You intelligent though? But you can't get out the house? All right. <laughs> Thank God for mods. I probably would have just had to travel with Sugarbush and then reset it that way, but I had the uh, teleport any sim here, <laughs> little statue thing Security. from the pose mod. <laughs> so from Andrew's pose player. <laughs> so that works. <laughs> All right. <laughs> bye -a -bye -a. And it is raining. Our clothes are suffering. But at least we fixed you because that was a disaster. Let's actually go ahead and lock for individual. We'll lock these doors for sugar bush. So he does not come into the house like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see what we can cook here. Uh, we could definitely make garden salad still. Because it's only going to cost us seven simoleons. But really uh, about eight if we make multiple servings. So that's pretty good. We do have fruits that will cost us... Well, it will still, no, 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 zero for some family size or even a party size. So I should make a party size of fruit salad because it won't cost us anything and we'll have plenty of leftovers. <laughs> soon, soon, we'll fix you. <laughs> Don't worry. All right, Ellie's done with school, so go ahead and come over here. And she has a school project. So completing this project with grant school progress, additional progress will be rewarded if the project is completed quickly. What project you get? 
you have a chemical reaction volcano project and you made a school drawing very cute and it's a drawing of a whore a unicorn <laughs> that's cute <laughs> but oh yeah we do have our pictures to put up probably just one good picture that's fine let's put it on the nightstand and we'll add a uh, dark wood background here. Cute! Our first horse. We'll definitely sell the rest of these for some Lillian's. I think I'll do her, let her start working sloppily. <laughs> I always choose to work carefully every time. I'm just like, <sighs> Ailey's just like school projects. <laughs> I guess I'll try to get this done as fast as possible. It is going to help her work on her mental skill though. But she's just not really for it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Ailey's just not that into, like, science. <laughs> I mean, I know she's, she's probably more of a hands-on type of girl. I know there's, like, a um, like a stick bridge type of project, I feel like, or that medieval castle. So I feel like she might enjoy that more than, you know, a little paper mache volcano and chemical reaction type deal. So maybe along, you know, later down the line, she might get a project like that. Colson's like the only one with an umbrella. Super Vitality Fertilizer. Ooh. Oh, we don't have a trash can? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I could have swore I put one. I mean, we do, but not like an outdoor bin. Uh, am I going to have to get, the, get that too? Let's put it in here for now. No, you know what? I remember. I think it was aggressive horses, right? You are aggressive. I think it was aggressive horses that will literally always knock down your outdoor trash cans. So, I don't exactly know how I would want to do that. I could probably make a little closed off area right here by the tree for our trash bins. Oh, you rooster in. <laughs> what? Where did Colson go? Hello? Did y'all see that? He just outright dis disappeared. Colson? Oh, so stay over. Oh, it's done. He forgot his luggage. <laughs> okay. All right, we have one egg so let's collect that see if it's a hatchable one and it is so we'll put that right back in there and get some baby chicks and then we may eventually sell start selling chickens too when we get too many oh hey dad Okay, I was thinking about our conversation the other day and decided to go for it. I changed my career. So what did you go with? Business? All right, that's actually really different than what I, what I expected. Because normally they go for like the art career, but now his dad has a job. And because of that, and he has a residence key, he may not show up here as often as sims typically would do when you give them uh residence keys so all right ailey you're done eating how about you go brush your teeth and then you can go i'll put this in your inventory what's the it's poor quality look at that can you even Okay, <laughs> that's terrible, Ailey, terrible. <laughs> She's like, look, at least it's done. I think tomorrow Eli might actually venture out a little bit more and introduce himself to some more residents. So we're gonna go to the local bar uh, while Ailey's at school. Plus we'll give me a good opportunity to show you guys what the new bar looks like because I did place another lot down and I will be Definitely will be sure to place that in the description below as well. Let's go ahead and get some sleep. Wake up in the morning. 
probably head out to the bar while Ellie's at school, meet a couple people, and see what's going on around there. All right, and here we are at the bar that I placed down. This is called the Oak Barrel, and I believe it's a lot created by Peacemaker, but I will go ahead and still place that in the description below for you guys. So this is a really, really nice lot, and I thought it fit pretty well in this general uh, town area here. So we're gonna go check out the inside of this because I thought it was really well made. So you have like a really, really nice uh, seating area over here. And this is also, I feel like a pretty nice place to kind of host some events and things like that. We got the bar back here. We got a lot of toilets. <laughs> and then going upstairs, we still have some nice seating arrangement as well. And then a really nice uh, little loungy area with a piano. So, I thought this was a pretty nice lot. We're actually going to head and sit it down and order a drink. So, order a drink. Let's order your favorite drink. <laughs> Some of you might uh, remember me saying that I like seeing what my Sims' favorite drinks are. Uh, what? Raspberry? Huh? No, that's not right. <laughs> it looks like sparkling water. Oh, juniper. Okay, great. Let's actually do a... Ooh. Ooh, that made you have to really use the bathroom. I'm gonna help you out a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, what did she get? What is that? No, these are not coming out the right way. <laughs> I think something is bugged a little bit. But I do think Eli literally got like sparkling water. Well, let's talk to Juniper. Because I did want Eli to make a few more friends. Maybe get some, um, some tidbits, some advice on running a ranch. Maybe even be able to go over other um, Sam's homes and see how their ranches are run. Oh, Umber's here too. Let's <laughs> actually greet him. Oh, there's a. Uh, what's her name? <laughs> Danny. <laughs> okay, I'm loving that we're actually getting the uh, locals here. Maybe Umber can become his best friend or something. <laughs> Let's ask about his career. Like, what does he actually do? Why are you flirty? Yeah, this is broken. I'm not sure why I just keep saying raspberry. So he's a freelance artist. Okay. Uh, what about you, Danny? I don't remember if Danny actually has a career or not. Okay, yeah, she's unemployed. Did he get any, like, first impressions? We have bad compatibility with Danny, but he finds her attractive <laughs> and we have good compatibility with umber so that's pretty good all right just me and danny now i mean danny's a pretty cute sim not even gonna lie when i first saw her in um oh we do have first impressions when i first saw her in the trailer i was like oh she's cute she looks a little bit different than the normal sims that they kind of make all right, so, oh, Eli's first impression of Danny, she's in dreamland. This sim appears to be a little bit in their own bubble of imagination, a dreamland of sorts. And then Danny's first impression of Eli is he's a nature maniac. Listen, <laughs> just because we do things a little more ma bit more manual than most, <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to add that that first impression, like a negative first impression on us, ma'am. But we'll still talk to her. Who's this? Oh, random sim. Oh, they're, oh. <laughs> I guess I didn't put that setting in. Now there's uh, werewolves running around. I don't want this <laughs> pack settings 
Limits. There we go. <laughs> Oh, terrible. So let's go ahead and head home. We did go ahead and meet Umber and Juniper, which is pretty good. So I do want to make close friends with them. Because I want to at least have, like, a relationship with, like, an actual, like, family here. But I would probably go ahead and end this episode here, you guys. Don't forget to give the video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.